What's going on, y'all? It's your boy D Maze for Mind Games Uncut. Once again, here we go. I know I've been, I took a couple of days off, y'all, but look, the Navy is supposed to be banning the Confederate flags. And plus, we heard about NASCAR supposed to be um, banning the Confederate flags. So before we get into it, um, we're going to take a small commercial break. NASCAR on Wednesday announced they would ban the presence of the Confederate flag at all of its racing events and properties going forward. In a statement, NASCAR said, quote, The presence of the Confederate flag at NASCAR events runs contrary to our commitment to providing a welcoming and inclusive environment for all fans or competitors in our industry. This decision comes the same day U.S. President Donald Trump refused to rename military bases named after Confederate commanders, saying on Twitter, quote, These monumental and very powerful bases have become part of a great American heritage. NASCAR becomes the latest sports organization to respond to nationwide protests over the treatment of black people in America following the death of George Floyd, an unarmed black man in Minneapolis who died following a knee to the neck by a police officer that was caught on tape. Yeah, we back. We are back. So yeah, man, these rednecks are freaking out right now, y'all. <laughs> I'm listening to it in the car. I'm, in a, I'm driving in the car. I'm listening to this white station, radio station, and these rednecks are tripping and I, I granted all white people ain't for the confederate flag but you got a gang of them y'all you got thousands probably millions of them that's for that confederate flag and these people talking about they're gonna stop watching nascar they're gonna stop watching football they're gonna stop i mean in in i'm telling y'all brothers and sisters be careful please be careful because let me tell y'all something this thing right here it's it gonna get serious. You start messing with their flag. One thing you don't do with white people: don't mess with their flag and don't mess with their money. And you messing with their flag and their money, oh uh, man! I'm telling you, these people honor the hell out that flag, man. I know they wanted to say the N word. I know they wanted to say nigga on the radio, but they couldn't say it. You know what I'm saying? But these people let you know. They are not playing when it comes to that flag. You might end up seeing another civil war because of this. I, I put nothing past these people, y'all. I'm telling y'all, black people, be careful out there. And watch out for all these protesters. I've been telling y'all, these protesters, they're supposed to be for Black Lives Matter. I'm telling you, they got their own agenda. Just like O'Shea Duke Jackson said today. Start telling them, let's push for reparations and tangibles and see how many of them are rock with us then. It's easy because, see, they got their own personal agendas and stuff out there. You got so many different groups out there. But anyway, going back to the Confederate flag, man, they all been pissed. Black people, a lot of y'all in the South. I'm here in the South, but they, you know, I ain't worrying about it. But understand, I didn't even know that NASCAR, I didn't even know that because I don't watch, I don't watch that, but I didn't realize how much they had, how many Confederate flags they had out there. I didn't even know they was doing that. But I'm like, wow, let me tell y'all, man, you got to ask yourself this question, family. Why in the hell are they making all these adjustments for black people? Why are they banning certain things and getting rid of certain things, being nice to us? I don't buy one minute. Keep your eyes open, man. Keep your eyes open. And all these people that are supposed to be our allies, don't trust them. Henry, Dr. Henry Clark told y'all, we have no friends, no allies. We got to trust each other. You know what I'm saying? Brothers and sisters, stop beefing with each other. Keep your eyes open because I'm telling you, it's something to come down the pipe. Something about to happen. I mean, you know, they good about hiding stuff. And one thing about them, they will stay on code. They want you to think, look, 
It's all about peace. We love each other. Just like that stupid idiot out there on his knees begging, talking about, I love black people. I love white people. I love the cops. Dude, this them jokers snatched his black ass up. I talked about I talked about this on my radio podcast. I had to talk about it again, y'all. This stupid fool sitting up here begging these white cops, these race soldiers, and they just snatched them up and locked them up. Like, dude, they don't give a damn about you. Ain't no love and peace. This is wartime, y'all. But anyway, you mess with them jokers. You mess with them redneck flags. And I'm trying to tell y'all, keep your eyes open because they're going to be trying to do soft targets. That's why y'all need to get y'all arms up. Like I told y'all, get yourself in shape. Learn, put yourself on a strict diet, exercise. I'm telling you, get your mind right. Get off them drugs. Get off the alcohol. I'm telling y'all, black people. So things about to pop off. You do you do not mess with these people flag. I don't give a damn about that flag. I'm just saying for those who really into it, like them down south rednecks. Not all white people like that. I'm talking about the rednecks, the real like the the hillbillies. Them jokers don't play about that damn. That's a cult. That's part of their culture. And you're messing with their flag. I'm telling y'all, mark my words. Y'all, you can laugh, but y'all better keep your eyes open because these people take that damn thing serious. It's ugly anyway. It represents slavery and a bad history, but it don't matter. It's part of their culture, and that's how they see it. But I just had to put that out there for y'all. So look, y'all, make sure y'all like, subscribe. Uh, the hell with y'all rednecks and that damn flag don't mean nothing. Hell, I'll be honest with you, I don't care about that one of them flags, but I know that flag was representing just to keep us enslaved. So that being said, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.